Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sise of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so, so grateful. And for those who are still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Today, I want us to learn something new in among these layers. Uh, and I want to talk to someone who is planning to start this project or someone who has already started the project and the birds have not yet started laying. Uh, let me be honest. Uh, when these birds start laying, there are some birds that will end up not laying eggs. Uh, but this uh, will not be very many birds. Like in all the flocks that I have brought in this farm, I've, uh, I always get like two or three birds that will end up not laying eggs. And actually... Uh, they always have a very weird kind of behavior that I want us to share today and I want all of us to know so that when you start the project and your birds start laying eggs, you have to identify those ones which are behaving like that. Normally, there are not so many. There are really not so, so many. Normally, you'll get one or two. And for someone out there who has started the project and didn't maybe experience this, I think you're just lucky. But me, in all the birds that I've brought, uh, I always get one or two or even three birds that will start behaving in a very funny way and they are not laying eggs and they are the ones which are busy eating their friends' eggs. So that is why today I said, let me share this with you and you'll be aware of this. And for our pure local breeds, guys, the birds are really multiplying very well because we have now the three hens are busy laying eggs. We have two duck, ducks which are sitting on their eggs and the turkey that hatched some three weeks ago, the babies are really looking super, super healthy. And uh, I've got so many of you who, are, who, who have been sending me messages that you really want these pure local eggs but currently I'm not yet selling them because I'm also still multiplying my pure local section so i really i'm really still multiplying the buy on the pure local breeds i'm still in the multiplication process and i'm also still learning how to take care of these local breeds actually we are learning together so that is why every time i have to update you about our pure local breeds so today let's look at these layers which will end up not laying eggs and some of the reasons that may may lead these birds not to lay eggs so stay tuned till the end and if you're still new please don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload share this video comment in the comment section down below and i'll be so grateful don't forget to tell me which country you're watching me from and i'll be smiling see you right back So as I told you earlier on, today I want us to look at some of these layers that will end up not laying eggs, whether you do what, whether you feed them like how, they will purely not lay eggs at all. And uh, whenever we bring these birds, we always take care of them up to the age of 18 weeks. That is when we expect that uh, your birds should start laying eggs. Actually, it is between 16 to 22 weeks. Because some I've had some people tell me their birds start laying at 16 weeks or at 17 weeks, but mine all the birds that I've always brought in this farm start laying at 18 weeks. So normally between that time up to 22 weeks, if your birds have not yet started laying eggs, at 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 least if you've not yet seen an egg, then there is a very big problem probably maybe the feeding is not okay or maybe the housing is not okay or, or maybe the the birds are sick uh, so when they start laying i normally give them a period of two months for all the birds to stabilize after two months at least a farmer should start counting back their capitals the capital that they have invested in these birds so after these two months from two months and above that is when you start identifying some of the birds that are not laying eggs. How do I how do you identify this bird? First of all, if you see a bird which is hide keeping in hiding all the time, get that bird and check on it. You will find that that bird is not laying eggs. And then also there are these birds which are always very very broody. 
These layers, I don't think they are supposed to be broody. They can be so broody, so tough, and you'll find that uh, whenever you go inside the farm, they are the ones that are busy climbing on you. They are keeping also in hiding. I think they get broody because the friends are always fighting on them, pecking on them. You know, whenever they come to feed, the friends are pecking on them and, you know, I can say beating them up. So I think that is also the reason why they become so, so broody. So just know those birds might end up not laying eggs. And uh, the funny thing with um, these broody uh, birds, they are the ones that are always inside the laying boxes, gathering the friends' eggs and busy so brooding on them and also busy eating the eggs. I have really seen this in all the flocks that I brought here. At least one or two birds become so broody, become so tough, you know. And they are the ones that you will find that they eat eggs a lot. You go inside the laying boxes, you find eggs being pecked on. These broody birds are the ones eating on the eggs. So that is why I will advise that, uh, please, after the two months, if you identify a bird that is not laying eggs, just know that bird will end up not laying eggs and it will disturb you because the more you enter the farm, they are busy climbing on you. Those are the birds that will even jump on your head. I think in fear of the friends, they will, you go to give them feed, you find a bird climbs up on the head. Those are the type of birds. So please always remove them from the, the flock and sell them off or slaughter them and then there are also this type of birds that uh, you will see they will not put on weight they will not put on weight at all whether you feed them well how whether you give the herbal remedies the birds will not put on the weight always eliminate those ones they will end up feeding for nothing and consuming the feeds for the rest for nothing there's no benefit that you get from those birds so those are some of the birds that you should eliminate from the farm and also the the most disadvantaged part is that uh, they will never have good, you know, they will never have good life inside the farm because by the, if you insist to have them, you will find that by the time you're selling them off, those are the ones that they, they will not have feathers on them. They keep on pecking on them all the time. They keep on running up and down. And actually it will also teach other birds how to peck on the friends because the more they see them being pecked on, the others also learn from there so that is why i would advise let us try to eliminate these birds but i don't want to discourage you out there that these birds will end up lay not laying eggs not all the birds actually it is always one or two birds now like for me i remember i had one which was not putting on the on the weight at all actually it was really not putting on the weight so by the time when the birds were starting laying eggs i decided to eliminate that one and uh I left the rest. So now that the birds have laid for two months and a half, there are these two that I am I have identified, which are so so broody. They are always broody. When you go to pick the eggs, they are too broody. Now those ones, I'm also going to eliminate them, and I'm going to slaughter them or sell them off. But basically, I will slaughter them. So it is not always very many birds that will behave like that it is either one or two and for those who have really not experienced this you're just very lucky that you've not experienced them but for me i've always experienced this but it's not to discourage you that your birds do not lay eggs this is only one or two birds among the local breeds i've really not yet experienced that because all the hens that have mature are already laying eggs and the ducks are already laying eggs and actually even sitting on the eggs like i told you but even the ones which are young are really making the noise that shows that very soon they'll start laying eggs so among the local breeds i've really not seen this but among these layers exotic birds this is what i have experienced and i decided to share with you today maybe uh someone can explain to me in the comment section someone who has also done this project who maybe know the reason why these birds behave like that but um personally i also don't know why they will end up not laying eggs because you'll find that i've done everything right i've actually shared with you we have done these things together we have given them the herbal remedies we have we have vaccinated them well we have observed biosecurity the house is big enough for them but they have still not these two have ended up not laying eggs actually i can say three because the other first one had not put on weight it put on the weight, but not to the expectation. You really see the bird is really small and 
it had not put on weight. And these two have decided to become so broody. And trust me, when I slaughter them, I will not get the eggs inside. So you can explain to me in the comment section why the birds behave like. For someone who knows the reason out there. And for those who have used the herbal remedies, I want to inform you that most of you are sending me messages telling me how the herbal remedies are really working. And that is why, please, let us embrace the use of these herbal remedies in our poultry farms because it is really working. So many people are telling me, Sise, thank you. Uh, the, the turmeric is working. The charcoal is working. The ginger is working. So I'm really so, so happy that the herbal remedies are working. And we are yet to see other herbal remedies which are very very good in our poultry farming so for today that is all i had for you thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing guys we are soon hitting the 30k subscribers please don't watch this video without subscribing let us continue subscribing let's let's move this channel to that let's move this channel to the next level and i will be so grateful thank you so much please see you next time love you all bye bye